In this clip, I'll demonstrate how to use subsamples of data for your analysis. So here we have a data set with some variables. Doesn't really matter what um, what exactly they are. There's some create data. So let's say we regress semester two total create on semester one total create. So we have grades for students in a course, semester one grade and semester two grades. We run the regression and we get some sort of results. Not surprisingly, they are very positively related to each other. Now, let's say you want to see whether this sort of relationship holds, whether that makes sense or not. Also for those students who did uh, fairly badly in semester one. So we only want to do a subclass. So first, possibly we want to check what sort of the descriptive statistics are for the semester one grade. So we can see there's a medium median of about 44. So let's split the sample into those that have a grade smaller than 44 and those that have a grade of at least 44 in uh, semester one. So how would we do that? Right now we have 137 data. You can go up here into your little command window and you can say SMPL. That's the command that tells EVs you're going to do some something about the sample. And now if you want to restrict the sample to only those that have grades smaller than 44 in semester one total, you say if semester one total is smaller than 44. So this up here, this is now your condition. Use all the data that have a semester one grade of smaller than 44. And you can immediately see that in your sample, we've now reduced the data to 70 observations, so about half the observations. Of course, we knew we chose the median, it should be half. Now, if you, let's delete the initial regression. If you now run a regression, semester two total on semester one total, you can see that automatically it adopts this new sample. You could change it here, but it automatically adopts this new sample. We can run that regression and we'll see that basically that relationship is still valid. Okay, there's still a coefficient of one. And now let's try and do exactly the same for a different sample. So where we say larger than 44 or larger than equal, let's see whether that works. Okay, larger than equal work. So now we've selected 67 observations. We run that equation again with that new sample. And we get a relationship. We can see that this coefficient actually has shrunk somewhat. It was one for the students who didn't do as, as well in semester one, and it's 0 0.7 for those who did, you know, had a semester one grade of large or equal to 44. You can combine conditions. So let's say you want those who in semester one overall got a 44 and in the test had a grade of larger than 50. Right, I'll just make this number up. So we can still use this condition, but we add an end condition and semester one test larger than let's say 50. So now we have reduced our observations to 37. Now we only have 37 observations and let's run the regression again. Uh, let's see what we get. Actually in that case the coefficient has shrunk even more. Whether that makes sense to make this analysis here or not. All I wanted to show you is how to select different samples. And if you want to select the full sample again, you say SMPL at all, press enter, and we're back to the full sample. If you want to go back and do a sample like this, you just have to go back into that line. For instance, if I wanted to reinstate that particular sample, I just go into that line, press enter again, and it would have adopted that sample condition again.